at 56 kilograms, two young fighters are about to renew an old rivalry. They're two different personalities with very different boxing styles, but with a Welsh title at stake, this could well be the fight of the night. Daniel Chapman fought each other loads of time. When I fought him before, you know, he got lucky. Oh, he's gonna be a punch bag for me, I'm afraid. He just stays there and tucks up. If he does, I'll be laughing. He moves a lot, dances on the ring, tries to pick you off. Good counter puncher, very fast. So you gotta just try and close that off. Plenty of pressure, hands up, take the fence, and drop one downstairs. He's a great body puncher. Chapman is a mover that and dive. This should be a great fight. Like. Dan's just gonna be Dan Chapman, really, and just show his skills and do what he's gonna do. No, we are planning to box each other too many times. They know each other. There's no surprises with any of them, you know. This fight's gonna be a cracker. It's gonna be definitely a fight of the night. Hopefully, we have a good fight. I've made the best man win. There's only room for one champion, Jay. So, budge out of the way. Look on Friday. So, it's at bantamweight on paper that we have the fight of the night. Daniel Ginger Chaps Chapman has fought Jay Harris on four occasions and won three. But Jay Harris from Gwent won the last encounter, and tonight they're fighting for the Welsh title. The fifth fight in the series then. Chapman, remember, leading 3-1, but Harris having won the most recent, and it's intriguing. It's intriguing, a bit of everything here. Real contrast of styles, the showy, slippery Chapman against the more solid and compact Jay Harris. It's the pretty boy against the plasterer. But Daniel Chapman has been away in the British development squad and was released 12 months ago, has been working on his power. That's something that has been missing from his game and something that Jay Harris has traditionally anyway between these two a little bit more of. Has Chapman come on for that? That's the question, Colin. Well, it's interesting because both boys have gone up a division, both struggling at the flyweight division. And, of course, uh, Chapman, looking at the size, he looks really, really big at this uh, division. Uh, Jay perhaps doesn't show it quite so much in his physique, but uh, I can assure you when he comes forward and doubles up that left hook underneath, it's some special shot. Sharp, crisp shots from Chapman there. The first at that uh, left hook and then the straight right that got all the way through the guard and onto the chin of Harris. Both scored and both would have rattled him as well. Chapman certainly getting the better of the earlier stages of this contest, but remember, it was Jay Harris that won their most recent. Yes, and when they, they last met, I was at that, uh, on, there at that on that occasion, and uh, it was Chapman amid all the early running also in the first round and had a, had a great lead and then uh, just, just fizzled out. But it, looking at him, he's doing the weight division so good and he looks so well, uh, I can't see that happening tonight. Like a racehorse, isn't it? Well, Jay Harris there came out, didn't concentrate, and was walking on some good shots there from Daniel Chapman. Very much the same all the time here. It's the right hand he can't get to grips with. Oh, did he land that one through there as well? That would have been cheeky. That really would have been cheeky if he had. <laughs> the judges didn't award the point at ringside. Hey! Don't get carried away. That last contest, it was Chapman who made all the early moves, made all the early running, got all the early points. But Harris came back into it as the fight went on. This is much better now. Chapman again, we're seeing that snap and the sharpness and the crispness of the punches again for the first time in this second round, really. Well, where Chapman's been very clever, Ollie, is that he's boxing out of the set, out of the three minutes. The last, last uh, minute of this round, he's actually upped his rate, so he's been very cunning. Well, Jay Harris eventually got on the scoreboard with a good right hand there. The Chapman was boxing very well again, fast, he's concentrating, his uh, defence is very good. Amateur boxing is all about the fence here, he just cannot get through. Chapman has come up the division uh, and looks better, sharper, stronger, and, and this is the end product of it. How did he take Colin to being 
released from that uh, British development squad 12 months ago. It, it, it looks as if it might have given him something of, a, of an impetus to go on and, and, and improve. Well, I, I know Daniel uh, very well. He uh, comes on the gyms and, uh, and, and is still working hard to get as much sparring as he possibly can. And he was very disappointed at the time, obviously, uh, but didn't give in, didn't, uh, his heart didn't give up. And, and, and this is what we see, a, a, a tremendous performance tonight, and that's down to all the travelling and sparring that he's put in for the last 12 months. Terrific display from Daniel Chapman, just 20 years old, and his opponent this evening, let's not forget this at this point, Jay Harris, no novice here, no part-timer, this is a two times Welsh schoolboy champion, someone who's been a runner-up in the British ABAs, Jay Harris, but just hasn't been able to get into the fight this evening, partly because of the good offensive work that Daniel Chapman's done and the points that he scored, but his defence as well has given nothing away. Jay Harris never had a chance to get into this fight tonight, and Daniel Chapman ends it as a worthy Welsh champion. At bantamweight, it was Daniel Chapman's mastery of the tight guard that won the day against Jay Harris. Chapman would cover up and then unleash super fast combinations to comfortably outpoint his Gwent opponent. Congratulations, Dan. Uh, happy with that? Yeah, you know, I'm um, inspiration from people like yourself who train so hard in the gym. And it proves how much hard work you put in the gym. You turn out to be the senior champion. You've been there and done it yourself before, cleverly. Like, you know how hard it is, especially when you get brought down a level. And you know, I've worked hard, I've had good people with me. I'm hoping to go on to the World Championships, hopefully let's qualify for this 2012. And that's great to see that ambition, mate, and uh, congratulations, enjoy the moment. Cheers, cheers guys, thank you very much, Clev. Top man. Thank you. 2012.